new and improved Pokey 2.0. Hello, internet people. Today I have some new parts to put on my Pokey Horse back here, my brand new 2021 Ford Bronco Black Diamond Edition. If you're new and you'd like to get caught up on Pokey Horse, up above my head is a link to a cautionary tale of what happens when you crossbreed a chipmunk and a hippo. A spoiler alert, it makes a chippo. Ugh. These right here are a 285-75-16. My black diamond package came with these General Grabber ATXs in a 265-70-17. These tires weigh approximately 44 pounds a piece and the overall circumference of it is a 31.6 inch tire. So these are essentially 31 and a half, not 32s. There's some obvious advantages to going to a larger diameter tire for off-roading, but it's not always the case that bigger is better. Sometimes you can ruin a vehicle's performance by just stuffing the biggest size tire you can on it without any thought involved. The new tires I personally chose, they're not sponsored, are BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2, and this measures out to be approximately 32.8 inches. So it's essentially an inch and a half taller of a tire than the factory ones. Also, it's a 16 inch rim, which gives you more sidewall protection for the wheel. One of the biggest downsides with going of a larger tire is often or not, it's hard to maintain the same load range. The factory ones are a load range C. These new ones in most larger tires above the factory size are load range E. That's what the tire is capable of hauling for a load, hence it's called load range. It's beefier, heavier, 15 pounds heavier per tire. How do you combat the issue of heavy tires? With lightweight wheels. Before I resume any further with that though, you can't stick a fresh set of new wheels on a dirty pokey horse. these up I have to give a massive shout out to ICB Motorsports in Chandler Arizona where I purchased these along with the Rega Masters for the MR2 there's a link up above to that video if you guys want to check it out anyone that knows anything about these wheels knows it's a massive deal to break up a set of these wheels to give someone a spare and these are a discontinued model in a rare color which makes it even more special that Matt broke up this set of wheels to give me an extra for a spare. Ooh, that is so pretty. I love the anodized finish. It's nice. It looks like it has a lot of room, so the brakes should be okay. Yeah. So it's just a matter of this clearance. But I do have a, another color I want to show you. Okay. I mean, this is, this is, don't get me wrong, this is cool. Yeah. But this is like, to me, it's an entry level. So on this wheel will be the wheels because it's the last one before they discontinued it. Oh God, that's so pretty yeah. in the sun. Oh, so I, I love that. I think it will match that color because the, you know, I mean, like I said, I see blue in it. Especially on the back, on the spare. Look at it versus... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that would look so good. It actually does go really well with this yeah. color. Ah, look at this. It's a two-for-one kind of day. Again, thank you, Matt, for doing that. It's incredibly kind. And whoever is going to buy the rest of them, you'll all be able to get buy a spare now because there's a broken up set with three remaining. Here... They are. These are the Volk TE37X in matte gun blue. So it's not really gunmetal and it's not really blue. It's a hybrid between the two. They're 16 and a half pounds a piece. 16.5, wow, I was dead on. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, this scale is minus, you know, my, you know, you know plus or minus like half a pound, but still that's, that's super light. These right here, wheel and tire, is 77 pounds. The new ones, 75 and a half pounds. I went to a bigger tire and I still shed a pound and a half of unsprung weight per corner. That's what's up. This is 77 pounds. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, jeez. 
that's heavy. Side by side comparison of the size difference between the two. And for those of you that love the look of the Steelies, I absolutely love the look of the Steelies too. And I'm not getting rid of this set of wheel and tire. I'm keeping these as a spare, so. This right here, that's, uh, that's unacceptable. Time lapse. Welcome to the next day. Oh, this is really heavy. Why did I do this? I'm not that strong. How do I get down? Ouch. <laughs> Fuck, that's a heavy tire. Hey, look, there's the flapper doodles. You know, like when you shut the doors so it doesn't pop your ears or your glass? They're back here, the gills. Huh, all right. Hopefully I shouldn't have any clearance issues. I don't think I will. I know how I can get my back tire on. I'll just lower this thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez, this is really fucking heavy. I gotta turn it so the bulk is facing sideways. I never thought about the offset for the spare tire carrier. It sticks out quite a bit more. Hopefully that doesn't affect load wise and put stress on this thing. You know what? I bet you the Sasquatch has a different spare tire carrier because that's a bigger, heavier wheel with a more aggressive offset like these. Thankfully, someone did a write up on the interwebs and I found my answer. It looks like they just use a spacer on the Sasquatch models to fit the bigger, heavier, wider wheel. So this thing must be plenty strong then. I should have nothing to worry about. That is uh, the one slight downfall of this wheel and tire upgrade. I did increase my scrub radius just a little bit, but it's not a race car. It's a pokey horse that is gonna take me out to some campsites. So it's okay. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Oh, yeah. That's so cute. The hood popper looks like a little Bronco. Okay. Box number one. This came all the way from Speeden. This is one of the first upgrades I wanted to make to the Bronco because it's something these two, three EcoBoosts can really benefit from. Ooh, they sent me some merch too. Mmm, awesome. And a beanie cap because Speeden. These are oil catch cans. I have two of them because I'm gonna do a giveaway on one of them. This is gonna be a two part video though because I gotta do some fabricating of where I'm gonna mount this. But I looked up what I felt was the best oil catch can out there globally on the market and that's when I came across this company. Oh, I'm gonna eat the fuck out of you. Swedish candies. Ah, that's a catch can right there. The outer shell is made out of carbon. It's all aluminum on the bottom. Got your inlet, your outlet. This little guy right here, so you can check your level. Look at the construction of this thing, it's so nice. This is why I went with this company. And then they also have a little breather on the top of it. Made in Sweden. Can I put one right back here? Ah. I have a solution. I'm gonna have to powder coat the bracket so it won't be going on permanently today because I want it to look OEM, but I'm gonna mount it right here. There's plenty of room down below to get to the drain valve. And then also there's two bolts right there for this bracket. I'm gonna mount it there. It's gonna run right across the top of here. And then it's gonna have a piece of rubber just as a vibration damper and then bend down and attach to those two right there.
So there you have it. My TE37Xs on Pokey Horse. I think once I get the Sasquatch flares on here, it'll be nice and flush with the edge of that tire so it'll be no poke. That's what I'm going for, is just a nice flush fitment. And in case you were wondering, I did order a set of Ray's center caps for this thing, so I will have those here in about a week. Look, this just showed up. It's the Sasquatch flares for the Bronco. These weren't supposed to be here in time for this video, but they're in time for this video, so now I can put them on. And this is, yay, yay. Uh, that's probably good. Literally cut, oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> they have quick disconnects and the fender flares. You, are you serious? It's that easy? Mmm, smells like OEM. Clean, tasteful. You should fit nice. Oh yeah. Look how girthy these are. I can't believe they made it this easy to take these flares off. This is hilarious. There we go. It sounds violent, but nothing broke. I'll probably end up taking this off again when I ceramic coat the truck. But for now, I'll just use a little ceramic quick detail spray. I should keep it fresh. Come on, you fuck face. It's just really rugged tabs, that's all. In case you're wondering, you got your locks right here, and then further down, you just got your little snap tabs that are replaceable. That's why it sounds so violent, it's these guys popping off. That looks so dumb without the flares on there. I can put those back. All right, which one is which? Which flare are you? Dude, that thing is like double the width. This is bullshit. These are brand new and there's scuffs in them. What the hell, Ford? That's not okay. Are they all like this? No? This one doesn't have any mark. Oh wait. No? Yeah, it's got a little one right here. That is, that's not acceptable. That's not okay. I mean, if it only affects one of them, it's not as bad. Maybe I can just get a replacement for that one but this is crazy. Nope, there's a little scuff mark right there on it. A tiny one. This one's good, there's no marks on this one. Okay, the other ones aren't really bad. They're just very minor marks. But this first one is unacceptable. Big gouges right there, right there, and right there. So it's these two have really big gouges in them. At least it's only one of them. I'm gonna see if I can just send back that one and get a replacement. Cause there's no way that happened in the box. It's not shipping's fault because everything was wrapped in plastic and bubble wrap. So that had to have happened at manufacturing. Accidents happen, it's whatever. And maybe someone was gonna put that in their yeet mobile and wouldn't have cared, but this isn't a yeet mobile. Line this up. Oh yeah. This is gonna look so dope. Rear, right hand. I'm a dumbass. Okay. Whip, whip, whip. Oh, that looks so good. That's what it was missing right there. That extra little touch of detail. Look at that. That is perfect. There's like barely a tiny hair of poke now. That sounds very weird and sexual in a gross way. Look at that. That's perfect. I just gotta get some splash guards. I'm not gonna get the factory ones. I'll figure it out. I just don't wanna melee this out of my door with rocks. And there you go, new and improved Pokey 2.0. They don't really stand out until you really see them in the right light and then the sun hits it and it kind of sparkles a little bit because of metallic flake. Yeah. No poke. It's clean. Clean, clean, clean.
Oh, I'm so happy. I still got the other box of parts though that I wanted to try to fit up in this video. What do you think? It looks really good. What do you think about the matte gum blue? I like it a lot. It's a risk, like it's a bold yeah, color. It, there's a lot of blue in the gray and there's the blue on your little black diamond badge and it, it matches, it pulls it together, I like it. I love it, I'm so stoked. I just, I can't wait till I get my center caps to the wheels and I'm gonna get a replacement for that back flare because that's, that's not okay. But other than that. It looks really awesome, I like it a lot. What were you saying about the back? Oh, the little rubby rubber baby buggy bumper things. They're just a little rubber stopper. Oh yeah, for to vibration? Keep, yeah, just to keep this from rattling. I can just make a, a machine a spacer out of plastic that goes behind it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's that little touch of blue though that ties everything in. The blue right there, the blue right there, the blue stitching in the seats, the Ford logo, the blue, the blue. Matt called it like right what? off the bat. Yeah, Matt was the one that Matt said it. Matt was the one who was like, he was like, yeah, the bronze looks cool, but hang on a minute and brought those out. So about that oil catch can, this is a bracket ready to go. Thanks to the barbecue dudes. I uh, got to get this powder coated and then I'm going to order the lines. And the next video I do on the Bronco, I'll be installing the catch can as well as that other box that I didn't open yet because I, the, I don't have the other part that goes with that box. And also I have to cut and fabricate something on there too. So more Bronco content on the way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon with another. Bye. I almost cut my face with this thing. Bye.